A Chevy Cruze without cruise control? What is this? Well, today we're gonna install cruise control on this base model, or actually the LS model, Chevy Cruze, uh, second generation. We'll get to that after the intro. So yeah, this is the uh, base model, second gen cruise 2016. The way you know is if it was a higher model, it would say LT, LTZ, Premier, whatever right here. The LS is in the L. The L is the base model. The LS is the next level up. Base model, no, no uh, badging. And it doesn't have the cool little uh, plastic inserts around the back bumper. It's just a plain Jane. Barely any options except for air conditioning and Android Auto. It's about all it has. Well, and power windows and locks, but no remote start. None of that. So, um, I know the first gen cruises. You, um, they sold a kit that would add the uh, the steering wheel with the cruise control buttons on it. You take it to the dealer. They'd flash your BCM. Uh, not available on this model. Uh, not possible to do the same type of thing. So what I have for you here is the Rostra part number 250-9643 cruise control for the 2016 and a half. Which is, actually, I think this is a 2016 and a half cruise uh, to 2019. Yeah, 2016 plus. Um, so you're going to be mounting a little control stick on the driver's side. Here's the diminutive in size little control box. We're going to have to find a place under the dash for that. Some place that doesn't interfere with the knee airbag wiring harness. Let's just dump this thing out, shall we? Ooh, oh, what do we got? Zip ties. Woo! It even has a part number. All right, make sure I got everything under there. So, basically they call this a pedal bypass. You're gonna go unplug the uh, harness from your accelerator pedal and splice this in line and then run, the, oh. No, run this. Run this to the control box. And then, uh, oh, okay, it comes with, so, you can connect this to your OBD2 port and plug it right to the box, or you can cut these wires off and splice in. There's two pins on your OBD2 port. So, I thought of possibly, I bought one of these, uh, this thing intercepts the OBD2 port. You plug the original into here, and then I would what I would do is plug this into this little part here, and then this mounts in place of your connector, and this all hides under the dash, but there isn't very much room under the cruise's dash. I wanna save this for something else, like installing a dash cam or something, or a GPS tracker on the Stepson's car, I don't know. <laughs> um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna snip, I'm just gonna snip these wires and I'm gonna use these uh, posi, uh, posi tap connectors. Um, these are the only ones I trust. I don't trust those scotch locks. I've been using these for probably 20 years and they're waterproof. I use them on my little utility trailer and I got 20 year old posi taps. They're, they're posi, yeah, these are posi taps. The ones I use are posi locks. They're the same thing have not degraded have not let moisture in i mean these are rock solid so these are the only ones i would trust otherwise you can also you know strip back the wiring and solder Sorry. well like i was saying anyway i'm just gonna i'm gonna cut these off there is um you wire them into it tells you on the instructions here yeah it's gonna go on pin six and 14. Okay, yep. 
that's what I'm gonna end up doing. Um, yeah, I thought I thought of trying this. It would be, you know, wouldn't have to hack anything apart, but there's just no room under under that dash. And then you're gonna have a little stick mounted to the uh, steering column. It's probably gonna be the biggest pain in the ass of everything. Gonna have to take the bottom cover off, drill a hole, put this in the right spot. Let's have a look at this thing. Set coast, resume accelerate, on off. Oh, it's not a switch, it's a button. Okay, and then it's got a, it's angled so you can position this at different angles. I like that. And then um, the little connectors that are in here, these, you're gonna, I think there's two of them. Yeah, black and a white. They, the instructions tell you how to pin these. The, you, they don't put these on here because you have to fish this through that hole in the steering column. So it's kind of like one of those, once you fish it in there, <laughs> you're gonna have to cut it to disassemble, to dismantle it, disassemble, bleh, disassemble it. Okay, well, um, yeah, the posi lock. There's one connection you're gonna make at the ignition switch, so I am fully confident in these. That's the route I'm gonna go. If you wanna strip back the wire and solder and heat shrink, I would recommend that, but, um, just telling you, I'm gonna use these posi taps. Use them at your own risk. Don't blame me if you know you use them and something happens to your car. That's all I'm saying. So I'm just gonna go up under here and just show you how much. Turn this light all the way up. There we go. Just to show you how much space is under this dashboard. You see the knee airbag there that needs to come out. I don't know what I'm recording here, but just so you can tell, there's no, there's barely any room under that thing. Um, it is possible to take this out. I think, oh man, I get, I, <laughs> I had this all reference ready to go and now I, I forgot, but, uh, We'll probably start with uh, taking this column apart. I want to make sure that, you know, I got enough room here when it's all the way in. And I want to kind of put it in a spot where you could possibly see it. I don't know if we're going to be able to see it. But, you know, it's one of those things where it's pretty intuitive. What do you think? So I think what I'm gonna do first before I do anything is I'm gonna go, I'm gonna mark where, kind of where I wanna put this. So I got this thing, it's down, let's go up. I think we wanna go up and locked and pushed in. So I kinda, you know, maybe here. Let me see how this looks behind the wheel. I don't know. I, I mean, Maybe here, have it pointed down. I don't know, all the the installs I saw, I saw one video on somebody put one in on a first gen cruise and kind of had it down like that. I mean, is it gonna hit my leg? It's another thing, I don't want it hitting my leg. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and just draw a Sharpie kind of where I want this. And then I'm gonna proceed to take the cover off. So I'll do that off camera. What do you think, puppy? You're not repping the brand, man. <laughs> Time to wash this. Jesus, look at this thing. Trying to get my animals to rep the rep the channel. <laughs> okay, so yeah, kind of. Kind of made a little uh, circle there. I think that'll give me a good, 
good location. I pulled the wheel out, put it down, just, you know, it's not gonna hit my knee when I'm driving. Actually, now that I think of it, this is still a, my wife puts the seat way the hell up. I put it way the hell down when I drive. So I don't think my knee's gonna hit that at all. So, all right, we'll go, we'll get the tools. I gotta get the key and we'll start taking this uh, plate off. All right, so what we're gonna wanna do here, um, we're gonna take the top cover off. So we got a flat blade screwdriver and you're just gonna go in right here. We're gonna pop in and lift up. See how that came up? And then we're just gonna do the same on the other side. Okay, Oop. <laughs> don't turn the wipers on. Okay, so that's gonna come up. Now, this is gonna expose a screw here. See it? And one over here. So we're gonna take those two, they're seven millimeters, we're gonna take those out. And I don't have the tool with me. Oh, it's sitting on the thing. Okay, so, I'll just get these out. And get a magnet if you don't wanna end up dropping these things. Trying to do this one-handed. Setting the camera up in the back seat is proving not to work. So I want to stick this in the console, but I got the, <laughs> the dog's probably going to try to eat the screws. Can you just behave yourself? If I gave you a T-R-E-A-T, -E would you settle down? Maybe she is. Maybe she's done done barking at uh, elderly women and toddlers that walk by. Meanwhile, I'm trying to get this out. Okay. So, now, before we take this out, I'm going to straighten the wheel out and turn the key off. Because this is gonna have to I think oh wait there's one more down here never mind there's one right here we gotta drop that out before I as I just had right here see the two holes it's this one right here there's one in here there's a seven mil in here okay I can tell it's coming loose now And there she goes, on the floor, somewhere, I'll find it. <laughs> yeah, there it is by my shoe, <sighs> by my heel. Okay, so let's uh, see what this does. We gotta go around the mission switch, right? Okay, I got that side loose. There we go. She just, all right. Oh, nice. There she's off. And I just want to double check that where this thing is going to go, that it's not going to interfere with anything. No, we got plenty of room. We got plenty of room. Okay. I think that's a good spot for it. Right there. I'm going to go get my stepper bit. I almost wonder... Yeah, it's a little curved right there, but that that thing has a wedge on it, so it compensates for that type of angle. That's that's right where I want it. Okay, let's go to the bench. All right, I got my stepper bit ready to go. I got a ooh, we got to figure out what size hole this thing is. Maybe we'll just go step by step until. All right, no turning back now. Oof, we fully committed to it now. Actually, I should... Uh... Oh, this isn't... Ah! 
<laughs> Oops! The dog walked under me and I lost my grip there. No, we're nowhere near close yet. Maybe one more. It doesn't say anywhere in the instructions what size this hole should be drilled to. No, I still can't. Oh, maybe. Oh, you know what? Dummy, I forgot to take the nut off the thing. <laughs> ah, all right. Let's cut. So, I didn't keep track of what size hole I ended up drilling, but here it is. And I'll probably fish this on the other end and... I don't know that I need this wedge on this side. I don't think it's I think it's doing me any good. I think this can Yeah, I'll take the wedge off there. Well, this looks good. I kind of like how this I mean it's, yeah, it's pretty perpendicular to the thing. Oh, we gotta oh, try this. I think that yeah, that one wedge like this. I think we're golden. Look at that. Yeah, so I'll just, I'll take this wedge off here and just bolt it straight. And I think we got it. Look at that. Yeah. All right. Do that off camera. Okay. So here we go. I got the nut on there without that wedge, and I got a nine sixteenths. I suppose a fourteen mil would even work, because they're interchangeable. And I'm just gonna snug this up really good. Not to the point where I'm gonna snap the plastic, but you know. Couple of Just You don't want this thing moving around. I mean, I want to be able to maybe make some tweaks to it. But I think, like, right there is a good spot. And it keeps moving on me when I'm tightening it. It's got a nice crush washer. I think that's good right here. How's that look? How's that look right there? Look at that. So, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look what I'm going to do. I'm, I know I'm supposed to put... A couple little turns up. I'm supposed to put those connectors on the ends here, I'm gonna save that for later. I just wanna make sure I can run this down. Should be able to run this down the console like this. I mean, I might have to, I know what I might do here. Just, I don't want this interfering with anything. I don't think it will. I have an idea though. So check this out, I got these little These little, uh, what do you want to call it? You can stick a zip tie through it and then it has adhesive on the back. Double stick tape. I think I'm gonna stick you know, like one here and one down here. And that'll give me a good, a good, uh, let's just say it'll get this up and out of the way. Snip these zip ties off too. I'm gonna try this. And look at that. That'll get it out of the way. I'd rather have like this. If this interferes with something, this will pop off instead of you know these wires breaking. I don't think I'm gonna need to 
cut anything out here. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I think this should be good. We'll throw this other one on here and we'll call that good. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, I mean, I didn't line them up perfectly, but I think that'll be enough to get this out of the way. Okay, oh, not even in frame. I'm going to go snap this back on the car and fish this down, and then uh, time to put on the old knee pads <laughs> crawl under the dash. All right, so now that I got this all ready, I'm going to go ahead and pin out this harness. So, I'm going to uh, dig the instructions out here. Oh, here we go. Okay, it tells me right here. Okay, so on the switch harness, we got to go black, red, blue to the black connector. And those are going to pair up with the... Okay, black is going to go to black. Blue and yellow, blue and yellow are going to be the same. Okay, let's see if I'm getting this in frame. Oh, we got one, two, three on here. Oh, nice. It's not labeled on the instruction sheet. All right, so what I want to do, you want to be able to... Let's make sure we got this going the right way. Okay, so it should go like this. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. All right, so three. Let's find that black one. There is the black wire. That's going to go to black. All right, I probably want to unplug this. Oh, look at that. If you look really close right here, it says three, two, one. Okay. I need a pliers to get this to seat oh there we go okay next is red let's find the red and then blue okay so two is going to be red snap this one's going to be blue okay we'll give them a little tug so when we connect up okay let's see all right check it out Why don't you go in now? Yeah, this is getting. I wonder if my pins on the on this. These are all messed up. It's not going in. Well, I might have to open up the pins on here. Oh, there we go. Okay, she's connected. Now the next one says green goes to the red purple. Alright, let's see here. What are we labeled here? We got numbers on these. Yes. One is the yellow with green stripe. Two is the purple. It looks like a black stripe. Oh, it's just, yeah. Purple with black stripe. There it is. Purple with red is three. Okay. All right. We got this one's not labeled. I don't see any numbers on this one. Okay, so it goes like that. All right. Red, purple goes to green. So we're going to go green here. Oh, okay. Way at the end, you can see three, two, one. Okay. So this one's green. Three is green. Okay. And then two is yellow. And one is brown. All right, snap, make sure these are all in there, and they are, so I can connect this up. Yeah, get it to seat. There we go, all right, we're connected. So now, all right, the switch is all connected. I might have to, I don't know if I'm gonna end up bundling this like this, or Let's just get this long thing up under the dash and see where we are. We'll crawl under there and see if there's a spot to mount this. Um, and then from this, 
This, we got the one wire has to go into a uh, tap into a wire on the ignition switch. And then there's the two wires on that OBD2 port that need to be tapped in. Those are the three wires and that's it. So I'm gonna go crawl under that dash and take a look and see what I'm, I'll probably, you know what? I'm gonna snap this on, see what we're working with here. Okay, let's see what we got here. I'm gonna crawl back in and So let's see what we got here. I might just toss this whole harness up under here. I want to go around the airbag. Oh. Let's see if I can fish this back behind here. There we go. Okay. I think we're, yep, we're up and over the airbag. I'm looking, airbags right here. All right, so we're up and over the airbag. All right, we got clearance, so maybe now I can toss this cover back on here. I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this back on the tripod because I'm struggling here holding the camera in one hand and getting that back on. I have to reprimand my dog. Yep, she's gotta be right next to me. Dirty. All right, let's see if I can get this in shot. the lever down maybe that'll help yeah. yeah get that lever down yeah okay I'll get all the slack out of that okay, here we go let's see if we can snap this on yeah this bottom cover just okay we're on now I just need to get those screws Okay, so we're in. Let's uh, get a close up of this here. Sorry, I'm trying to take my camera off the... So that's how it looks. I don't have it bolted up yet, but I got the lever. Let's go all the way up. Yeah, it's nowhere near hitting the dash. We got some good, it's a really good spot and you can kind of see it with the wheel straight ahead. It's kind of a, <laughs> you gotta reach for the damn thing, but I'm willing to live with that. I mean, I suppose if anything, I could turn this, I could maybe turn this around so the lever comes a little closer because right now it's sticking. I don't know, that I like it. I think that's a good, that's good. I mean, sorry. <laughs> That's good, it'd be almost like reaching for the dashboard. I mean, I think I can live with that. <laughs> Might bump my knee. Nah, I don't think it'll bump my knee. I got a good inch and a half, of, eh, two fingers of clearance there. Yeah. I dig it, all right. Yeah, I'm not making this video all about Gertie, but now she's finally settled down. <laughs> Right back to how we were here. Now we're gonna have to listen to the chime going off here. So, one bolt here. We'll screw that, oh, one bolt here. We'll screw that in. Okay, I got that screwed in and the wheel turned and the ignition shut off so you don't have to hear the chime. So, same thing here. Get that seven mil screw back in there and then after that we got the one up underneath and then don't forget this one here right here uh, might need to get a magnetized 
screwdriver to go in there. That's your last one there. So now that I got that, we'll straighten this back out and we'll snap. I'll just try to snap that top cover back on. holding the camera as I'm trying to snap this thing on. Well, it'll get there eventually. Oh, we can shut that off now. Might have to turn the wheel and uh, yeah, I think we'll have to turn the wheel and just figure out why that's not snapping on. Okay, okay, so that's what we wanna do here, okay. There, okay. That snapped in, that snapped in. All right, column's back on. I'm gonna, I can't zoom the camera out while I'm recording. All right. All right, so here we are. We're all the way in and down, we're all the way up and in. Let's lock it up and in, see what we got for room. Yeah, it's not hitting the dash, nothing's hitting. We're in a good spot. I'll flip it we'll go down and towards me and the way I'm sitting oh plenty of room and I can yeah it's a reach it's not like finger you know it's not within reach like the turn signal ever but I mean still hold one hand on the wheel reach over here turn it on I mean it's closer than reaching for the headlight switch, so we're good. I can I can see kind of what it's saying. Pretty good. So oh. now uh <laughs> trying time to crawl under the dash. I would maybe suggest you just dis disconnect the battery at this point. Be just because we're gonna be tying into the ignition switch. So, you know, now that I test fit all this, I got it back in and I was a little eager thinking that, hey, cool, I got the column on. No, dummy, I gotta go back under here. I gotta tie the ignition switch harness. So, so um, I would say uh, forget putting the screws in, just test fit the cover like I did here. Just don't put the screws in because this has to come back off. Ay, ay, ay. All right, so we got the column cover off, and the instructions say that uh, solder the red ignition wire from the cruise harness to the yellow slash blue wire in the ignition switch harness located below the steering column. So, kind of shows you where it is. Uh, it is right here. This is the harness. So, it's literally, we're going to flip this little red tab, and then where my thumb is, squeeze and pull and pull I might need oh that's okay so that's it that those little tiny wires that's going to your ignition switch um i'm not going to disconnect the battery because check this out nothing that <laughs> that really is the ignition switch harness so i'm going to find that yellow man these are so tiny okay this first one here blue with a yellow stripe I'm gonna just gonna posi tap right into that sucker. And uh, I got the harness. I'm gonna, all I really need to run is just this red wire down the column. The rest of this can go under here. So I'll do that. Okay, so here's what I got. I snipped a little bit of the harness back. I didn't wanna have that right up at the front because it would stress it out. I fish that red wire back through the column. You can see the rest of the harness hanging out down there. You don't need to bring that whole thing up here, just this red wire. So, um, I will pull that down. I'm not gonna connect this back up quite yet. Uh, right now, I think it's time to crawl under here and disconnect that connector on that gas pedal. See if I can fit the camera down there somehow. Okay, I have located the harness. 
we're gonna try to get this camera up in here you can see it right on the pedal right where I'm pointing right there that's the harness so that's where we're gonna disconnect uh, I'm gonna do that off camera because there's no way I'm gonna be able to hold the camera and let me see hold the camera and disconnect it at the same time so uh, let's look at this this is essentially what it's gonna look like I'm assuming we pull the red tab oh get that in frame pull the red tab up and then squeeze and then we'll push it back in when it's on oh get that in frame so this is going to be the one this will plug into the pedal and then your pedal the plug you take out will plug into here and then we got to wrap all this up under here somewhere i'm wondering if possibly i could pull the side of that console cover off there might be a spot back there to hide the module i'm gonna i'm gonna pull that console cover off because i think that'd be a good spot to hide that module and then we can wrap the wires up under there okay so i did some digging first thing i did is i pulled the panel off the console there's really nowhere over here to mount this so I popped this panel off. Um, where is it now? Oh, it's just a bunch of clips. Ah. So it's just clips that you pry off, pry it out, comes out. And then uh, this little piece here, it's just a bunch of clips. I kind of pried it out at the top and then pulled it back. And lo and behold, there's a nice little spot right here, right above the OBD2 port that I think this sucker, I can just, boom, zip tie it right there, secure it right there. I think that'll be a really good spot for it. And I should be able to bundle, oh, the e-brake spring is there. Maybe I'll bundle the wires over here. I'll find a spot. Maybe if I tie them really nice up to this harness, I think we should be good. Maybe, I don't know. I'll see where that harness goes. I might be able to tie it. Looks like it kind of goes up. Yeah, that must be the BCM right there. Well, anyway, that'll give me access to this OBD port because I need to tap into two, tap two wires into that. All right, I think things are looking promising. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get that harness plugged into the pedal and then I'll just start tidying things up and zip tie that module there unless I think of something else I think right now that's the best bet because under here it's like your shifter cable goes through there and here's your uh, AC evaporator or yeah evaporator so I don't know I mean I could possibly double side tape it to that module but I don't really I don't know I think this is the best bet here so just a quick little update I took this two screws holding the OBD2 port off um, now looking at the directions you're gonna go the third one over from the top right and the third one over from the lower right so we're talking pin 6 and pin 14 so the one on top, you're gonna splice that red wire. Oh, I went ahead and uh, I cut that OBD plug off of this harness and I got the wires ready. So this red one is gonna be right here, this blue wire. We're gonna tie the red to this blue wire right here. And then the black wire is gonna to go to this white wire down here. So if you look at it this way, Third one over, third one over. It's the first one you see on the top one, and the see so you got a red wire in this lower one, and then the white one is here. So we're gonna tap into those two. Red to blue, black to white. We're gonna tap into those, and then I'll uh, bolt this back up. Okay, just gonna show you what I got here. Posi taps are good and snug on here. And I didn't show you the one already. Got that going to the ignition switch. 
Those are the only three connections you need to make. So now I just want to make sure these aren't going to be in the way. I might just tape them up just to get them out of the way just so they're not like hanging under the dash like that. Just kind of looking over this, these instructions it says clutch. So I, one of these plugs on here isn't going to work. And I noticed that by lining these up. I think it's this one here. Nothing, none of the plugs match. So it said on their clutch, so that must be for manual transmission. So anyway, I got a uh, little update here. I got the uh, intercept harness plugged into the accelerator pedal. I can get the camera in there. Now, oh, where is it? Right here. So you can see I got it plugged into the pedal and it's plugged there. So I'm gonna wrap all this up. Probably back here, something, I don't know. Um, right now I'm looking at the, looking at plug, plugging everything into the module. Got everything connected. Got my OBD back. So this plugs on the end here. I'm guessing like this. Yeah, the little hooks go on this end. Okay. And then this is going to go, I think, over here. It only fits one way. If you try to plug this in here, it's too big. So it has to go here. Click. And then the last one is the control stick. And this one goes in the middle here. I'm sorry. I'm not watching the viewfinder. So that's everything. So I could probably do is... Uh, connect the ignition switch back up, connect, you know, I'm done on the column. I can put the column back together. It's just uh, running the spaghetti of wires back up here. So let's give that a shot. So I think I got a good positioning here. There's a vent running <laughs> under here. Yeah. Let's see if I can switch the camera around. I don't know, we we're picking it up on the camera, but I'm gonna run the wires. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my uh, couple more of these and just stick them onto the underside of that vent. Just a little place to run the wires and get them up out of the way. And they're all gonna be hang, hang dangling right here. I'm just gonna bunch them up. There's a little spot right there. Maybe zip, I don't know, maybe I'll zip tie it to this harness. And then the module, I don't know if I'll put it like this or, I wonder if I can stick it somewhere in here. Maybe I can stick it right here. Yeah. Right behind the headlight switch maybe. Double side tape it. There's a spot right there. Ah, oh, that's what I could do. Right there, check that out. The camera's picking that up, but that'll that'll fit right there. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna double side tape it right there. Then all those connectors will be there, and I can just bundle them wires and tie them to that. That'll be beautiful. Okay. All right, check it out. We're all tidied up nice. I got my double stick tape ready to go on. I'm trying to peel the back off with one hand while I'm holding the camera. Okay, so some kids screaming bloody murder <laughs> coming down the hill. <laughs> All right, I think I want it like this, so I'm gonna there we go. It's gonna stick. Yeah, she's sticking. Yep, she's stuck good. All right, now. I just want to make sure I'm not in the way of the emergency brake. We're nowhere near it. Yeah, I think we got these wires tucked up there real nice. I'm impressed. Okay, I guess. Uh, here's the question. Do I want to go take it for a drive before I button it up? That'd probably be the wise thing to do. So, all I really need to do is... Eh, these panels all come back off easy. I'm going to button it up. 
I mean, it's just one screw on that side panel and everything else clips back in place. So let's get that back, back together. All right, I got my co-pilot with me. We're ready to go. I get some windows down for her here. All right, so let's just turn this on. Okay, a little green light comes on. Okay, cool. So we're armed. Nothing shows up on the dash. All right, so I suppose I'll just put my seatbelt on this time. We're gonna go out on one of the main roads. Um, I don't see anything. My leg isn't hitting. So I'm gonna get on the road and we'll uh, join in progress when I'm up to up to a speed that. Uh, Cruise control can activate. All right, we're going 40. I'm gonna hit it. Set coast. Okay. Yeah, puts off the accelerator. No indicator on the dash, but as you can see, foot's not on the gas pedal. And um, oh, I felt it speed up. 43, it was 45 before. All right, so let's see. Zoom accelerate. Let's see what happens when I kick that up. Yep, I kicked it once. It went up to 44. 45. Okay, so it goes up to. Hit it again. Yep, clicks down to. Okay. Oh, it downshifted. Okay, I'm going up a hill. Alright, coming to a roundabout. I'm going to go. I'm going to go to the right here try to uh... all right let's get up to 55 this is a 55 road here I don't know if you can see the speedometer all right let's go it's just lock it at 50 all right I hit it I hit set when I was at 50 foots off the gas no indicator on the dashboard the once I saw for the first gen cruise, there's the indicator lights up on the dash. All right, I'm foot's off the gas. It's holding it. So let's kick it up. Now that that car is up there, let's see if we can kick it up to 55. Two clicks. Nice. So let's bump it up a couple. 
one, two. Felt a little bit of, yep, she's going. Two clicks took, okay, took me to 64. Yeah, it's working. Okay, let's go one more click. State trooper facing the other direction. <laughs> I'm not holding the phone, I'm holding the camera. <laughs> Dump it down, let's hit decel. One, two flicks. All right, what do we do here? Down one. Yep, it went down two. All right, I got a break. Well, it's working so far. All right, let's take her back home. So there you have it. That's the Rostra cruise control for the second generation Chevy Cruze 2016 to 2019. Let me know what you think. Uh, my thoughts, works great. I mean, buttons are a little flimsy on that control panel, but I mean, hey, car didn't come with it. It has it now. We can road trip the damn thing now. It's the reason I hate driving that car because it doesn't have cruise control. But now it does. So anyway, um, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment, subscribe. Be sure you check out my affiliate link down below for Auto One LED lights they got headlights they got signal lights brake lights backup lights anything you need uh 15 off with my code shade tree down below be sure to check it out uh drop me a super thanks if you feel generous and uh we'll see you next time later <laughs>